Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer, and today I am sharing books that I want to reread. I recently shared a video on books that are worth rereading, and all of those books were five star books that I've read before and then reread and thought it was totally worth it. In this video, these are still all five star books, but these are books that I haven't yet reread re or haven't reread in a very, very long time and that I want to reread and revisit. These also are not in any particular order, I just wrote them down as I came across them on Goodreads. One series that I want to reread is Little House on the Prairie books by Laura Ingalls Wilder. These are books that I read in my childhood. I grew up watching the TV series, but I honestly don't remember the books very well and I really, really want to reread them very soon. I also really want to reread the series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket, partially because I actually haven't finished the series. I read like the first 11 books and then there's two more books and I never actually finished it. And so I want to, but I don't want to reread, I don't want to read those last two books without having reread the series first. And I have some of the books already. I'm missing like three or four of them. So I'm going to very soon try and buy the last four of those books and then I will reread the series and hopefully I like it as an adult. I, I remember really liking it as a child, so fingers crossed. But I really am curious about the ending and how he finished off the series. I also really want to reread The Candy Shop Wars by Brandon Mole. He's the one that wrote Fable Haven, and I remember liking The Candy Shop Wars book a lot more, and I think they actually have more books that, go, that come after The Candy Shop Wars now. They didn't when I read it the first time. And so I want to reread it and see if I still like it just as much as I did then. And then if I do, then I can go and read some of the other books in the series. And maybe I'll revisit Fable Haven as well. <laughs> the Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss is another one that I really want to reread. I, re I read this just actually a few years ago, maybe four years ago, and I remember it pretty well, but I haven't read any of the sequels. I don't know if all of the books are out yet. I know for sure there's another book out, but I think maybe we're still waiting on the other one. If you know, let me know in the comments below what's going on with that series, because I know pa uh, Patrick Rothfuss is kind of a not as reliable author for getting books out or something. I don't know. But I really enjoyed The Name of the Wind, and I would love to revisit it. The next book is actually one that I read very recently, but I already want to reread it because of how good it was. It's A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I absolutely loved this book. I bawled through it, I felt all the emotions, and I really, really enjoyed it, and I would love to go and see how I, how the experience is as a reread, not reading it for the first time. And so I'm really interested in that, and I want to go back into that story because of how good it was already. Next is A Little Princess by Frances Burnett, and this is uh, basically the only classic on my list, but I read this, I, I read this quite a while ago and I've I reread it, but I just, I really want to reread it again to get uh, more of the experience, and I'd love to reread it and then watch the movie afterwards because I'd just be interested in doing that and seeing the differences, because I remember when I reread the book a few years ago that I was like, wow, this is pretty different than the movie. And even though I reread it pretty recently, I I don't remember books super, super well just thinking back on them. And so I'd love to revisit, revisit it and refresh myself because I know that I really loved it. I also want to reread The Clockwork Angel by uh, Cassandra Clare. And one of the main reasons I want to reread this is because I read it before Booktube. And I would just be interested in reading it after Booktube, just having seen other people talk about it. Also having read part of the Mortal Instruments series, which I hadn't read before, uh, I just would be interested in rereading Clockwork Angel. Another one I really want to reread is Diary, The Diary of Anne Frank. This is one that I read in elementary school, I believe, or middle school, but I really want to reread it because I don't remember a lot about it, and I am a lot more interested in World War II now than I was back then, and I just think that it, I would get a lot more out of it as an adult. Number nine, I really want to reread both The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. These are books that I have read more than once, or had read to me more than once. But, and of course, I love the movies. Well, I love the Lord of the Rings movies. I've only seen the first Hobbit movie. I didn't think that they should have broken it up into three movies, but that's a whole nother story. But I really want to read 
the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings again because I just would love to go back into that world. I also want to read more by J.R.R. Tolkien, some of his other works, and so I think rereading the, that would be a good way to kind of get me into more of his world. And the last one is a book that you might not have ever heard of. It's called Lady at Milkweed Manor by Julie Classen. This is a book that I actually read when I was pregnant with my second child, and it's a historical fiction about this woman who gets pregnant out of wedlock, and so she basically leaves her family to give birth to the child and then keeps the child and becomes a nursemaid, and uh, basically gives up her family so that she can ha keep this child. And uh, the story in it was very, very beautiful and touching. It was a romance, a historical fiction about children, and it talked. A l and I learned a lot about about nursemaids and, and that time period, and I just thought it was super, super interesting. And I would love to go back and reread that book and just experience it all over again. What books do you most want to reread? I would love to hear about them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.